Hey guys, I'm Jinx and welcome back to, to the Pillars of the Earth. Let's travel to Toledo. We got a lead last time. But let's hope. About one month after leaving Compostela. Another month. Toledo. It's a very non-correct way of pronouncing it, I know. Buenos dias. Parlez-vous français? English? Of course. How may I help you? Good. I was told you. a man named Jack Builder lives in this house. Who told you this? A group of scholars living at the edge of town. They said he used to translate old scriptures about mathematics before he moved here. Please wait here. I will talk with Master Rashid. Oh, fuck yeah, we found it. Is Jack really here? He's growing fast. Fountain. What a wondrous fountain. Almost like a real spring. Pointed arches. Jack must love them. What if he doesn't want to leave? What if he's happier without me? House. So big and light. Nothing like the houses at home. What is taking that servant so long? Entrance. Another pointed arch. Seen a few since I left England. Please let Jack be here. Pillars. They remind me of the cloister in Kingsbridge. Only that these keep away the good. Keep away the good and not the bad weather. Oh, they keep away the good weather, not the bad weather. Yeah. I don't want to move away too much, um, because he told us to wait. Oh, hello, little guy. And goodbye, I guess. Take a peek inside. It is that okay? Well, I mean, it really isn't, but... Oh, actually, hold on. I'm gonna save. Before you do that, I'm gonna save. Not because I want to reload, just because I don't want to lose progress. Yeah, man, we're right here. We we should really stay out, though. We can always take another peek inside. Rich merchant's estate. Oh. Is there anything I can do? I guess not really, huh? Other than, I don't know if waiting is an actual thing. I mean, in, it, when Jack was imprisoned a little bit ago in Kingsbridge, waiting was the, was the goal there, but we didn't really have to wait long at all. I don't know, let, let's, um, I guess let's go inside. Oh, of course go inside, because look at what's lying there. A slingshot. Oh, it's his. Jack is here. This is all the proof I need. Jack's here. Songbird device. What is this? An artificial bird connected to whatever that is. Donkey device. Beautiful craftsmanship. So much more lifelike than a painting. Small table looks well crafted. Empty. Yeah, the... the. Oh, vault. Very elaborate. Never seen anything like this. Jack would really love it here. Yeah, we know. He, he does. Let's go back outside. Dude, I'm getting fucking excited now. Oh, you have a worried look. The landlord's daughter? She's pretty. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, of course, you're getting worried. Whew. Why are you walking back there? Oh. Okay. Let's talk to her, I guess. Oh, there you are. Uh, may I ask who let you stroll around our house? Uh, I was asked to wait here. 
Yes, my servant told me already. My father's not here at the moment, so you'll have to make do with me. Unfortunately, I must disappoint you. There's no one called Jack living in this house. Huh. Please, let me talk to him. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is not easy for any of us. I think you should know that Jack and I are promised to each other. Fucking Maybe God we should go it. inside. The sun's burning, and my mother doesn't need to hear us. I kind of feel like I skipped a little bit of dialogue there by choosing Jack that told option. Me about you. you are Aliena. You're the one who rejected him and married his stepbrother. And now you want him back. Well, it's not that simple. I'm here because I love him. He always said that he had come here to find out about his family. But instead, he found out about everything else. About philosophy. Mathematics. When he and my father met, it was love at first sight. They studied together and made great plans. But in the end, Jack would always start talking about his cathedral again. <laughs> this great church he would build one day. Rib vaults and pointed windows. He'd ramble on about it for hours and stare up at that ceiling. We three sat here for hours and talked. And then in the evenings, it would be just the two of us. So many strange ideas about the future. Some barely more than silly dreams. Others almost in arm's reach. You're talking about him as if he were gone. Well, he's not here anymore. My father had offered him work as a master builder here in Toledo. He would have been well off and free to spend his evenings under vaults like this, with me as his wife. But in the end, he refused. Tell me, did you really marry his stepbrother? It was a mistake. I know that now. I did it to fulfill a promise I'd made to my father. I thought I had no choice. I didn't want to hurt him. Believe me. I do. You know... He left me because of you. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Even after all you did to him, he couldn't let go. You can be glad that you ran into me and not my mother. She was enraged when he left. <laughs> huh. He can have that effect on people. But apart from that, we made our peace with him. Father even gave him one of his favorite pieces of his collection as a parting gift. Oh, the a statuette. A small wooden statue with stone eyes in exchange for his slingshot. That I stole, I'm Would sorry. you mind telling me where he went? He went to Paris. To work on the Cathedral of Saint-Denis. God damn. He said he never found out about his father, so there was no reason to stay down here anymore. Paris? Yes. If you find him there, tell him I don't miss him. Thank you, and all the best to your family. Thank you. What is the child's name, by the way? Well... Well, he has none yet. I wouldn't name him without Jack. Isn't that a bit silly? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. But he's his son as well as mine. It's his right to have a say in it too. 
Then off to Paris. That baby needs a name. He will get one. Thank you. Mother fuck, we are so close. Please. Also, thank you, game. That I that that I'm really really happy about how that went. Oh boy, I'm starting to get excited here. Fucking. I traveled back please. along the way of Saint James, passing through Astorga, Lyon, and Burgos. I crossed the Pyrenees, revisiting Bordeaux, Angoulême, Poitiers, but never stayed longer than one night. The closer I came to Paris, the stronger my old doubts and fears resurfaced. Yeah, it makes sense. It's uh, all that anxiety and everything coming up. If Jack really was there, what was I to say to him? I would pull him very, very close. Uh, I was sure I would slap him. Why? We'd have to sit down and talk. Yes, but... I'd pull him very, very close, wishing for all the wounds to heal as quickly as they could. Though they do need to talk. Three months later. Three entire months later in Paris. Come on. I'm fucking kicking my feet over here. I am much, much too excited for this. Basilica of Saint Denis. Come on. Whoa, what if I don't recognize Jack? What if he doesn't want to see me? Find Jack. Masons, Masons. No, not him. Oh, workers, he's not here. Maybe he's not here at all. Construction site. A whole cathedral a cath a construction site. Could he really be here? Would he want to see me? Of course he would. I mean... <laughs> Holy shit. Eliana. Open your eyes, Eliana. Colorful light from the windows. Beautiful. Breathtaking. Beautiful. Eliana, open your eyes! Eliana, he's right there! How do I... Eliana! He's right there, Eliana! Aisha insisted that I keep it. No, oh, wait, wait, hold on. You walked over here somehow, yeah. Can we keep walking here? No. I won't leave, not now. No, if there's... Am I being stupid? He's right there! Right there! Can we walk up here somehow? Come on! It's his clothing, his fucking beard, he's even working on a corbel. I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know how I'd get closer. <laughs> Eliana. Please, Eliana. <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> Hold on. Fine, Jack. I did. I found him. I'm just too stupid to find my way to him. Stones. Jack must hate us. Tom didn't allow him to work on the cathedral and I left him. I can't just leave. Even if he doesn't want to see me, he deserves to see his son. Yeah. 
the, the thing about that, however... Am I stupid? He slept ever since we arrived. He's not nervous at all. Oh, maybe we can... Oh, okay. Maybe we, we should ask the workers. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just him very, very obviously <laughs> being there kind of threw me off. There. If he's here, I'll find him on my own. Fucking... Dude. You're blind. Or I'm doing something... Uh, or I'm doing something wrong. He would listen... There, there. Are we awake then? You almost missed this. Oh. There we go. Look at these colorful windows. Look at the light. Oh, he knows. <laughs> there we go. Ali. We came to see you, Jack. Uh, we? Is... is he...? <laughs> he is your son. My... my son? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Ali. Where do we go from here? Wherever we go... I want to go with you. Will... Will you marry me? <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> we will. You fuckers are gonna we make We stayed in Paris as husband and wife. And our son. Tommy. Aww, Tommy. The days went by quickly. Jack had learned much working as a builder in Saint Denis. Days became months. You. Then, after a year, we both grew restless. Where can we go from here? We asked ourselves again. We both confessed that we wanted to see our families, our friends. And then we knew where we wanted to go home. Even if it was in shambles. You fuckers are making me tear up. Sherbrooke Harbor. We need to hurry. The ship to England will leave soon. What's going on here? Whatever it is, if the crowd doesn't clear up, we'll miss our ship. I'm sure we can find a way through. Calm the crowd. Our carriage. Nobody pays attention. The horse might distract them. Or we make it all worse. Our chest? A present from Rashid. It wasn't easy for him to part with it, but he insisted I take it. Oh, oh, we're... oh, okay, we're... Priest. A priest. Maybe he can help. Smells of beer. Uh, nervous jongleur. The crowd's about to beat him up. He's nervous. We should help him. An angry mob, a commotion, about to get violent, impossible to get through. Well, let's try to talk to the priest. Do you know what's going on? Oh, chaos. I can't get these people to calm down. God knows I tried. What happened? The jongleur told the crowd a few stories. Then he sold people some miracle charms. But it was just fairy tales and painted stones. It wouldn't happen mm, to you. It here. always is. Like a child. I know, but I'd need a real miracle to calm them down now. Otherwise, they'll rip him apart. Um, I think there might be something useful. Or not oh, a real miracle. Even the place where you can put it. The statuette of the crying lady.
The insides of the box kept her warm, and the wood slightly damp. Nervous she doesn't do anything yet, but if I stood with her where it's colder... Uh, well, where is it colder? Um... Oh, I can... Oh, okay. Uh, excuse me. What's going on here? He's a thief. He told us lies and stole our money. But isn't that just a simple jongleur? What that did he poor say? poor man. We need to help him. Well, I mean, for all we know, he did fuck all of them over, but... <laughs> um... Jo jongleur? Where is it cooler? Hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to click on the mob again. Oh, he doesn't like it. Uh, neither do I. Yeah. Okay, hold on. A, a cool place. Behold the Holy Virgin! Huh. If it takes a miracle to make these fools stop, then give them one. You're right. I have to make her weep. It's the only way. Yeah. My old slingshot Eliana brought it back. Okay. Priest, our carriage, angry mob. Oh, shady spot. There we go. I didn't see that down there. Do you see? It's working. Your friend Rashid must be quite the miracle worker. <laughs> Liquid is forming on her eyes. Can we show that to the angry mob now? A miracle. Look! Oh. What's going on? The Holy Mother. She's crying. Look at her. Revere the Holy Mother. Come on, For man. she has blessed us with a sign from the heavens. Cease your doings right now, and witness the miracle. It's true! Lord in heaven! <laughs> Why is she crying? She weeps for your sins. What has this man done to you that you would treat him like a wild animal? He tricked us and took our coin. And you would kill him for your own foolishness. <laughs> the Holy Virgin weeps, for you are not living by the word of God. It is the mother of God. F -f -f Forgive us, Holy Mother. Where did she come from? Tell the truth? She was given to me by a scholar in Toledo. We think she cries because... Jack, don't! It's a miracle! <laughs> a miracle! A miracle! Sorry. Yes! <laughs> I almost <gasps> fucked it up. <laughs> Listen to what he has to say. The Holy Virgin has chosen this young family to protect her. Tell us all where you are headed. Her destination is beyond these waters. In the small town of Kingsbridge, in the earldom of Shiring. There she wants to rest. Kingsbridge? Where's that? Hail Mary! Make <laughs> way for the Holy Virgin! Hallelujah! Make well. Robert well! Huh? Blessed Mary! Let my daughter Whoa. conceive! Whoa, no, no, no. Give no. us a good harvest! They're donating to ask for her blessing. Uh, oh. The weeping Madonna shall hear your prayer. And with your donations, I. I shall build her a new shrine at Kingsbridge, a cathedral. <gasps> Old woman? It's, it's you. What? Uh, who do you mean? You, the red-haired ghost. Oh. Me, a ghost? You mean, you mean uh, our my father? My husband is very much alive. <laughs> I've known him since he was 12 years old. But he drowned. By God, you drowned 24 years ago on the white ship. Oh. My poor, poor son. My Jack. His name was 
Jack. Jack Sherburg. Jack Sherburg. Oh. Wow, a lot happened. Whoa. Jack's grandmother. Holy fuck. Well, that ending went into a whole fucking different direction. Just like this entire fucking uh, chapter we spent looking for Jack. And then at the end of it, just, oh, by the way, that happened to your dad. Boom. There you go. What you did, uh, you tried not to think about your upcoming, not to think about your upcoming journey on the ship to Normandy. You followed the coachman's advice and ran into a dead end in Barfleur. Barfleur. You and your baby fell seriously ill, but you both managed to survive. Could he have died? He or she? Could the kid have died? Dude, do you know, it's actually scary how often I ask that question. Because if, if every time we read something like this, there was an actual outcome where somebody did die, do you know how many times we narrowly survived death? <laughs> Jesus. You helped another pilgrim along the way of St. James, of course. You snuck into Rashid's sacred archive. Well, maybe we shouldn't have. You stole Jack's, uh, Jack's slingshot from Rashid. Of course we did, but, you know, Aisha let us keep it, so. You found Jack in Paris. You decided to go back to Kingsbridge. You saved a jongleur from a lynch mob. You met Jack's grandmother and finally learned about the fate of his father. Can you fucking believe it? Shit, I should have expected it that he didn't actually drown. Uh, that he didn't actually. He wasn't actually hanged. But the white ship. What is his connection to the white ship? We heard it, the story of it in the beginning of the chapter, and now they're calling back to it, but... Dude, th th this whole mystery surrounding Jack's father is so weird. Jacques Scherberg, or, or what the fuck ever, Jack Scherberg, makes sense. I guess Ellen, you know, Jack's mother, I guess she didn't... Like, either she deliberately lied, but no, she didn't. Like, she knew very little, and the little she did know, well, some of it was just false. Interesting. Um, Jesus, what a, what a fucking chapter. It took, took a couple episodes again to get through. God damn. Uh, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you all next time. Auf Wiedersehen.